Hi everyone, for this week's web lesson, what you're going to need to be able to do is to download some files from Teams. So I'm going to give you a quick demo of how you could do that for an entire folder. The files you are looking for will be on your National 5 Computing Science team. Okay. Once joining the team, you've obviously got the general chat where usually our tutorials take place. And at the top, you'll see one of the tabs called Files. If you enter here, you will see a folder called Class Materials and all of the information has been uploaded into here. Now, the web practical information has been put inside a folder called WDD Practical and you'll see that there are three web pages here all being uploaded by Mrs Norman that you might need. There's a few ways to do this okay you can select them all and download them all in one go you can select an individual and you can download one at a time or what you can do is you can go inside a folder and you can download all of the information inside that folder as well. So it's entirely up to you and um, just depend on how your computer works and what works easier. I'm going to show you how to download all of this and to put it into a folder called Cricut One that you can then use as part of creating your web page. OK, so I've highlighted all my files by clicking on this button at the top or you can click them individually. OK, then what we're going to do is we're going to press on the button called download and it will download them all. Now, when it downloads them, it puts them into a OneDrive folder. You can either click on here or if you're going into your own Windows Explorer, you'll find it in the downloads folder, which should just be part of your main quick access or part of your um, where you'd find your normal documents and things. Now, because it is multiple bits of information that's been downloaded in one go, it comes in a zipped file. Now, sometimes, depending on your computer, you can open this file and you can literally just copy and then paste it out to where you want it to be. So if I, for example, went here and created a new folder called Cricut one, went inside here and I pasted it. OK, I've then got all that information. Now, some people's computers won't let them do that. And what you have to do is actually extract the information. You can see the big extract bit up here because it's a compressed file. OK, to extract, you just right click, click on extract all. And then you can either in, in extract it straight to where it is or you can change this to where you would normally save your information. And then you just give your folder a name. So I'm just going to call Cricut one um, extract just so you can see the difference. Obviously, if I name it the same as this one, it'll overwrite it. OK, press extract. It's then extracted it. You can see it's popped up and showed me all the information. And then I've got the wee folder here with all my information. Now you don't want to leave it in downloads probably, so I would suggest you then take whichever of these two folders you've done and you cut it and you paste it to wherever you want your information to go. I would perhaps move it to National 5 Computing Science or wherever you've been saving the rest of your work. And again, you could do that separately for Cricut 1, Cricut 2, the Big Cats website. If you were to select all of these and download them in one go, then you'll probably find the extract folder has all of them. You need to try and extract the information out of the inside. It can be a little bit more complicated, but again, can be done. And it's sometimes just a wee bit jiggery pokery based on um, how your computer works. OK, any questions, hit us up in the tutorial and hopefully that helps. Speak to you later. Bye.